God's taking care of me. I'm going to take care of him. Yeah. Okay. Three or, four, three or four months ago, he healed me from blood clots. I had massive blood clots in my right leg. He healed me from them. Brother Chad called me up. I went home, took my stocking off. I was having to take lymphedema and massages every day. I was having to wear stockings every day. He told me I would have to do that the rest of my life. He prayed for me one Sunday morning. I went home to him with stocking off. I've not had a massage since then. I've not had a stocking on since then. And he healed me from that. Praise God. Okay. And I went to the heart doctor, sat and talked to her for a long time about it. She believed it. She didn't understand it. But she said she believed it. But she, I could tell she really didn't buy into it. Well, about a month and a half ago, they told me that uh, my heart was bad. They, they run tests on me. And they said that they compared the 2013 test. My muscle, my, my heart pump rate was supposed to be 60, and it fell down to around 45, 50. My heart muscle was weaker than it was in 2013. And your average person, when they go into heart failure, they go into heart failure on the left side of your heart. Well, I was in heart failure on the right side of my heart. Don't tell a lot of people my business. A lot, you know. I, I tell God my business. I tell my pastor <clears throat> and people that God won't pray for me. But I'm not one of them that goes around just talking about my problems. But God knew what my problems was. Yeah. And I had a lot of good people praying for me. Mm -hmm. I come up here during the revival. And Brother Chad and the evangelist, he laid hands on me for about a minute. I mean, I didn't feel no thunderbolt go through me. I didn't fall on the floor. I just had, just like today, Brother Chad prayed for me for my leg. I had a great sense of belief. And that's the only way I can explain it. I just had a great sense of belief. And I, he, he prayed for me about a minute. He looked at me. He said, you're no longer in heart failure. He turned around and went to the next person. They called me in. They wanted me to come in and do some tests to see if there was anything they could do to help me, see if there was any angle to take. I went in and done the test. I done an echo, stress test, and another echo. She was supposed to call me the next day, tell me the results of it. Well, it was about a week before she called me. I think she was trying to figure out you know, how to talk to me. Uh, but she called me. She said, we need to talk about your test. And we started talking. And she said, well, she said, your pump rate it's left went from 45 back up to 60 where it's supposed to be. And uh, she said, and she said, I guess since your pump rate went up, that's made your heart muscle stronger. She said, I, I guess. <laughs> so, I, so I said, well, let me ask you a question. I said, so am I or am I not in heart failure? She said, well, no, sir, Mr. Bratton. With the test that we had just take off you, you are not in heart failure. <laughs> the same doctor that I sat for 30 minutes and explained to her that God had healed my leg. And, uh, so I asked her, I said, what do we relate this to? How come I got better? You know, they don't put me on no medicine or anything. She said, well, it could be this, or it could be that, or it could be a couple of other things. And she remembered our conversation about my leg. She you really didn't want to go there, but she knew, she knew where I was trying to lead her. <laughs> but uh, as a, you know, as whenever I talk to her, I am not in heart failure, and it's not nothing they've done for me. Uh, God done it for me. Yeah. This is two times in a row, within five or six months, he had just when the doctors had literally looked at me and said, "We can't help you no more." Yeah. You know, back in first year. For my blood clot, they looked at me and said, we can't help you no more. In my heart, they were basically telling me, there's nothing we can do. My God can do it. Yeah. I know I'm not real vocal in church, and I don't talk to a lot of people, but I believe in God just like y'all do. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just, it just, everybody has their own way of doing things. And my way of doing things is kind of keeping my business to myself, but that's not because I'm not, that's not because I'm ashamed of what God has done for me. I just don't talk a lot. But two times he had healed me, straight up, left no questions about did he heal me, did he not heal me, did the doctor do something. He healed me twice. Okay. 
if there's anybody I can do, say anything for it in front of to help, maybe I, I don't know why God is healing me like this. I thank Him for it. Mm -hmm. because, I mean, you know, maybe I can say something to help encourage somebody else. Maybe it's to stay around and help take care of my grandkids. Don't know. It doesn't really matter. I know God healed me twice in the last six months. And if I get sick tomorrow, I'm going to ask him for something else. <laughs>